Drawing Windows Terms Resolution is the number of pixels wide and tall the screen is. Title Bar The title bar at the top that displays the window's name. Or the bar at the top of a window that displays the window's name. Frame Borders The edges of a window's frame. J-frames are objects that create a window for display and user interaction. J-frame, this is a construct, sorry, the constructor is for J-frame. J-frame creates a window. The one that we'll probably be using more often is J-frame parenthesis string. The string that you send it will be the title of the window. So it'll be what appears on the title bar. Size methods, we have get width, which tells you how wide the frame is, get height, which tells you how tall it is. Get insets is and how we'd use that is insets inset equals get insets. This is going to be used to find out um, the framing, like the frame edges, so the frame border. We can use get insets to so to figure out how many pixels wide or tall those bordering components are. We'll use that in some later slides. Set size, if you set it a width and a height, the frame will become that size. We have set preferred size, which receives a dimension. And when you say new dimension, that should be a capital D. So let me fix that. New capital dimension and you give it a width and a height. So it's kind of like set size, but there are some commands that want you to use set preferred size instead of set size. Pack, what pack does, there's not any description here, but what pack's going to do, it creates the window, even if it's not displayed yet, but it'll create the window. And if you've set a preferred size, it'll try to adjust that window to the preferred size that you have given. Other methods that are important, set default op close operation. This is what, what do you want to happen when you click X, int operation. We're always going to do set default close operation, jframe dot exit on close. This will make it so when they click the X, it'll kill our program. So if you don't do this, if you click the X on a window, your program will still be running, wasting up memory, even though you think you closed it. So this is very important to always do. Set layout, set layout manager, sorry, set layout, and then we send it to layout manager. Uh, we're not really going to get into layout managers right now, so we're always going to pass the null value. I do not intend to use the layout manager. Set undecorated, and you can send it a boolean of decorated. You can send it true or false. If you send it false, it doesn't show the frame title or any of its uh, borders. So it would be undecorated. If you send it true, it will be decorated, which means it'll have the frame will have a title bar and the window bordering. Set visible, boolean shown. When you send true, your window appears to the screen. If you send false, it hides the window so you cannot see it. Add component. This is used for adding items to your window. We're only going to be using this to add a single panel to the window. We'll use it more next year. Set resizable. Do you want the user to be to click the edges of your window, like if this was a window? If I could click this and drag and resize it. Um, we're always pretty much going to set this to false. We don't want people redesigning either. We don't want people redesigning the artwork we do in this unit. Or when we write games, we're going to write games to work with a certain work at a certain size. So we don't want people making the window bigger than our game would work for, or smaller than it would work for. J panels are canvases for displaying text, graphics, and components like buttons. Constructor for a J panel is J panel parenthesis parenthesis. We have methods get width, get height, set size. So you send it a width and a height, and it will become that size. We have a method called paint, and this is the method we're going to use for actually drawing things to the screen. It has graphics G, and graphics G will have lots of commands for putting text and shapes on the screen. Graphics objects are used to paint J panel and J sorry, graphics objects are used to paint to J panels and J frames. The first command we care about is set color C. 
uh, it has some predefined colors like set color, color.red. So color.red is predefined. There's also color.black, color.green. If you look up the color class, you'll find all the preset colors we're allowed to use. If we want to do a custom color, it's a little more complicated. We would pass in new color, meaning we're creating a new color object. And we send it the red value we want, comma the green value we want, comma the blue value we want. When you're dealing with light, all colors can be represented with red, green, and blue. And each value is going to range from 0 to 255. 0 means I do not want any of that color. 255 means give me as much color as you can possibly give. Give me as much of that color as you possibly can. And you can use paint to find these colors. And I'll show you how to do that either later in this video or during class. <coughs> set font is used to set the font that you want to use. And if you want to create a custom font, you can do creating a font, new font, name of the font, like Times New Roman, style, and if you open the font class, you'll have some styles listed. One of the styles is font.bold. I believe the one, if you want it to look basic like it normally would, you would do font.plain. For my graphics labs, I usually like font.bold. And int size is the point size of the font. So this would be a relatively larger font because it would be point size 28. Drawing commands. We have draw line. To draw a line on the screen, it's kind of like a grid. You would send me an x coordinate, a y coordinate. That would be the first point that you're drawing from, from x1, y1, all the way to a second point of x2, y2. Draw rect is x, y. That'll be the top left hand corner of a rectangle. So maybe if this was a point, and I say how wide I want it how tall I want it. So wide, it would go over so much, then down so much, and that would create a rectangle. Draw oval is pretty much the same thing. You give it an x and y, and you give it a width and a height. That defines a rectangle. It does not draw the rectangle. What it actually draws is the oval that would be inscribed in that rectangle. So you give draw oval coordinates just like you would a rectangle. But it doesn't draw the rectangle, it draws an oval inscribed in that rectangle. Draw polygon is used to draw a shape with lots of edges. And how we're usually going to use draw polygon is we would make a polygon and then do a dot add point, 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 and then draw polygon A. So this would draw a shape that connects all the points you list. You can also do draw a polygon where you send it an array of x points followed by an array of y points. Both those arrays should be of the same length. And then you send it the number of points created, or the number of points, which is just the length of those arrays. <laughs> draw string. You give a text value that you want to put on the screen and an x and y where you want to draw it. Fill commands. These all work exactly like the other commands, but the other one only drew the edges. These instead fill it in. So if I did x, y with height for a rectangle, it would then fill it in all that color. The same go for the rest of the commands. So we have fill rect, fill oval, fill polygon, and then fill polygon. There are two fill polygons, whether you want to use a polygon object or if you want to use two arrays. And Y points should have been an array. I don't know why I left those off. Let's see if I can go back to the previous slide. Yeah, it was an array in that one. Copy and paste error, I guess. Well, I guess I didn't copy and paste it because I would have had the brackets. Drawing coordinates. Coordinates in math. In math, we have a little graph. And this little point right here is 0, 0. And as you go up, Y gets bigger. As you go down, y gets smaller. So y smaller this direction. As you go up, y gets bigger. And we all know when you go to the right, x gets bigger. And when you go to the left, 
x gets smaller. So let's just write smaller. Again, I do not love my handwriting with a mouse. Coordinates in computer science are a little bit different. Um, we don't really have the negative area. And here is our screen. So what we have is we have 0, 0 is up here. And then what gets strained? Well, what's normal is when x goes this way, it gets bigger. And if 0, 0 is up there, they didn't really feel going down using negatives would be fun. They really didn't want negative values. So when we go down, y gets bigger. So that's going to be a little bit for you to get used to. So if you want a value of y that is lower on the screen, it's going to be a bigger number. It's not going to be a larger negative. So here we might have y50, not negative 50. So remember, as you go down, y gets bigger, not smaller. Creating a graphics project. <clears throat> All right, in the main file, you're going to create an instance of a frame. And then in a jframe file, file, you're going to add starter code. And in a jpanel file, you're going to add some starter code. We're, in our next video, we're going to have an example of me actually doing this so you can see it. But right now, in our slides, we're just going to cover what that starting code is. Code to add to your frame. The first thing you need to add to your frame. In your constructor, you're going to add super, whatever the name of frame you want. We're going to set our close operation to exit when we click exit. We're going to make it so you cannot resize the screen, and we're going to pack it so the window gets created. Then, the following code is we're going to create our panel after we've created a panel that we want to add to our frame because we're going to do all of our art in the panel. Then we're going to make our frame big enough to hold all of its decorations, the borders and the title bar, and the panel. To do this we have to get the insets. The new frame width should be the width of the panel, p.getWidth, plus frame insets dot left, the left however much borders you have on the left, plus the amount of borders you have on the right, our height is going to be the height of our panel plus the framing at the top of the screen and the framing at the bottom of the screen. Then we will set the preferred size to these new dimensions, frame width, frame height. We're doing set preferred size instead of size because we're going to pack later to adjust. Then we're going to set layout null. We don't want to use any layout. We're going to add our panel, put it on the screen, pack, and then set visible true that will make our screen appear. Code to add to your panel, super, do whatever the panel class is supposed to do, set width and height. You're going to have public void paint, graphics G. This is the method that we're actually going to do our drawing. And that's it for this set. Um, next we're going to be doing a example of drawing to the screen.